Hello. Um, it's day nine ish, thereabout ish. Yesterday, I did spent a lot of time or reorganizing my room. I can see my chair again, which is a big deal for me. I can sit in my chair, which is where my laptop is, <clears throat> which I haven't been able to use for a while because I haven't been able to sit in the chair. But um, I can I can get to it, and I have things organized better now. Um, so it's not, it looks probably still like a mess to somebody who isn't in the know, but it's actually quite organized now. Um, and then this morning, I kind of started listening to, while I was taking pictures of the stuff from day eight, I um, started listening to Jamila Jamil's podcast and uh, I Weigh. I don't know if you've ever listened to her podcast, I Weigh, but it's uh, really wonderful and really worth a listen. She's a terrific terrific human being. She was on The Good Place, if you watch The Good Place, and if you don't watch The Good Place, it's good. Um, <laughs> anyway, she had Jane Fonda on as a guest star, and uh, their conversation for like an hour was just riveting. Uh, and then I went from that into the Over 40 Resellers Club on Clubhouse, um, hosted by Lori Tata, which was wonderful. And I, the only, I don't, I don't really do Clubhouse very much. It, uh, this is gonna sound really stupid, but it kind of triggers my insecurities and fears from like high school of not being in the popular group. And it just feels like whenever there's conversations and I try to participate and it falls flat or I can't and I don't know what people are talking about or they all seem to be getting along so well and I'm like lost or I, I, it just brings back like all those feelings. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> which you know at 55 I should be over and I mostly am but like then that happens and I'm like oh this is a feeling I don't want to sit with and so I leave so I don't really hang out in a lot of groups but that's a good one that's one of the few that I have an alarm set for and that I try to go to whenever I can anyway it was a good conversation they were talking about community in the reselling community which is something I've wanted once I found out it existed uh, <laughs> which was a relatively new discovery for me um, but I have a hard time breaking into any kind of communities or making connections with people because I talk too fast. <laughs> I don't social well. I'm a hermit. I'm an actor. So I'm used to um, showing up on stage, doing my bit that I've already well rehearsed and that everybody in the audience is prepared to love and then leaving. So I don't actually have to expose any of myself and I don't have to get comfortable with any kind of back and forth that I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that within that back and forth. Does that make sense? So, and, and as an actor, I, I like, I remember when I used to work in corporate America and, um, and I had a lot of people that I worked with basically tell me that I couldn't be trusted because I was an actor. And so I was always insincere. And can I just tell you please that that's just a load of horseshit. <laughs> it's just bullshit. So there you are. That, there's that. So this has actually been weird for me because I'm being myself and it makes me feel very uncomfortable. But I'm doing it anyway because I wanted to try to create community for myself and I didn't know how to do it. And I thought, well, I'm just going to pretend like I have a community and maybe the community will come like, like that movie, baseball movie. What was that movie? You know that movie with Kevin Costner. That. If you build it, they will come. I'm building it. Here I am. Come. <laughs> Anyway, so, but at the end of the day, I need to empty this room, right? So let's get back to emptying the room, shall we? So I have shoes. I do. I'm sure you have shoes too. And these are Sam Edelman. And again, I'm trying not to pick up a lot of Sam Edelman, but I do it when they're special. And these velvet pink covered block heels, I just love. And then I picked up these because they're Levi's and they're flats, cozy flats, and they're denim with frayed edges. And I just thought that was super fun. Little pointy toes. Oh. It's addicting seeing yourself in the camera, isn't it? Look, you're so weird, doing weird things. Okay. <laughs> Talking to people who aren't there. <laughs> this is... Brian Atwood, which is a brand I've never heard of, but they're made in Italy and they're calf hair, pink and black calf hair with these gorgeous rhinestone or crystal, I can't get this to show, well, toes, sparkly. 
yeah, super cute cutaway sides, little heels. Those aren't too bad. They're kind of bad. Whatever. Hi. I mean, all right. Then <laughs> uh, I got this little Lululemon skirt. And it is a skirt. It doesn't have any shorts or anything in it. It's just, hello, oh, hi, I'm a skirt. It's just a skirt. Has little pockets on the side, little metal tipped ties. And where's the logo? You gotta see the logo so we know it's real, right? Where did it go? Now I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Beige on beige, which is why the thrift store missed it. Because our thrift store, if they don't miss it, man, this would be 80 bucks. So there's that. These jeans have a story. And I'm really sad to let them go because I'm trying to be good and listen to my Jamil Jamil and know that I don't have to be thin to be worthy. But I always thought I was fat. And I'll post a picture of me when I was younger and I thought I was fat. <laughs> so anyway, so I was always buying clothes that I loved that were just a little too small for me, hoping I would fit in them. So I threw away a lot of clothes that I loved or got rid of, gave away. And these ones I kept for a really long time. I got them at Lowman's. And if, if you guys don't remember what Lomans is, um, there's a, it was a, it's like TJ Maxx, like back in the day, but they got like really, really high end designer things. And it was the famous one was in New York and uh, women would go and it was like the Goodwill bins, right? They would draw out the new things and women would fight for stuff. It was like huge, huge discounts and they would cut the labels out so that you couldn't resell it or know that it was like Givenchy or Valentino or whatever. But you knew if you knew, you, you know, you knew. And so women would go and, and buy. And when I was in uh, San Francisco, California, there was one in California, in San Francisco. And it was like one of the last ones. And uh, it closed like a few years after I moved there, basically. But I went a lot and I loved it. And it wasn't quite as fancy then anymore but it was still had beautiful designers and they still cut out labels but only on some labels and only on the really high-end labels they would cut labels out anyway a little bit of history there's also a black and white movie called um it's a woman's world wonderful wonderful movie i think it has lauren bacall in it maybe not but it was a really great movie and the gist of it was that they were interviewing a man for this high prestigious job and they were between like three or four candidates and they flew them and their wives out to meet them. And they were really judging the wives too. And who was, who was going to be a good wife for their new high executive. Anyway, terribly sexist, but fun. And, uh, and there was a scene when they all went to Lomans together, all the wives went to Lomans together. It was really quite fun. Anyway, storyteller. So this is a, Alan Waller, and it still has the tag on it, which, and it's called Daisy Color Momming, <laughs> made in Italy. And they're these pants, they have these pockets in the front, zipper, and they've got daisies, and they're long pants with an unfinished edge, so I guess so that you can hem them to fit you perfectly. And uh, these beautiful daisies on the bottom. And they have pockets in the back and pockets, bucket pockets in the back as well as bucket pockets in the front. And they're just green and springy. And I've never worn them because I could never fit in them. And hopefully they will fit you. The other is this free people dress, beautiful free people sundress that I'll never fit into. Same reason. <laughs> but I kept it for a really long time. And it's just long and broomstick broomstick was the phrase i was looking for the other day too and then it's got this i guess this is this is smocking when it's the elastic at the bust so it fits kind of like a tube top with spaghetti straps and then has this really long maxi length springy yellow floral pattern i like it this one wasn't mine yay but it's new with tags it's emily and finn which I don't know if you've heard of this brand. I had not heard of this brand before. Emily and Finn. And it's just a really simple little dress. Got side pockets, little zipper in the back, little keyhole. And it has little martini glasses all over it, which I could use a martini. Could you? I almost could always use it on martini. Maybe two. And then this is men's. It's just 100% linen lightweight floaty shirt. I like to take care of the men. 
It's by, um, um, uh, oh, I could look. Bugacci Uomo. Bugacci Uomo. I thought for a minute it said Stanley Tucci, and I thought if it was a Stanley Tucci brand, I would just keep it to sleep in. And then this dress. I don't know how I'm going to photograph this dress. And I, if you have tips, I would love it. I, I don't know how. It's this huge maxi dress. Lace with ruffles. Huge, long maxi dress with cutouts. So the whole back is cut out. So then it's cut out all the way to the side because nobody's this thin, right? So it's meant to be cut out on the side. And I don't know how to hang it properly. It has a zipper. See? In the back, it's plunging neckline. It's by Avec les Filles. Avec les Filles, which is with the girls. And uh, yeah, $9.99, 40% off. It's just so pretty. Yeah, I just don't know how to photograph it, but I'm going to do my best. To kind of do my best. Because that's all I can do. This was mine, but I never wore it. It's uh, new with tags, made in the USA. What's the brand? Karen. Karen Kane. Oh, it's Karen Kane. It's a newer label of Karen Kane. It's a size large. I just, it, this wasn't because of my size. I just, I just never wore it. But it's got this gorgeous embroidery all over it. Beautiful embroidered front. Long maxi dress, because that's what I like. With an embroidered panel all along the bottom. Ooh, embroidered panel. All along the bottom. And that's it for me. I'm done. And, uh, oh, if you're listing, list two. Let's do it. Together. Okay. I've got a lot to take pictures of. Bye.